Welcome to another So Rare Thursday Club rewards opening with me, Ricky, aka the So Rare Mamba, and Johnny, aka Dornado. Woo! We're back to run the gauntlet of disappointment one more time, just like the Arsenal fans who put their faith in Spurs not being Spursy last night. Um, mm -hmm. We're in the era of Rivals 2.0, giving us more opportunities than ever to be disappointed by boxes. I'm rocking the console red right now to support them in my matchup. One nil up, you know, happening right now. <laughs> We're here to discuss the last game week and to open some glorious rewards. So let's hop into it. I'm going to lead us off. I've picked five of my lineups. These bought me four rewards. I don't know why I said four so prominently. Um, four rewards. Decent-ish game week for me. Um, Premier League Classic got me a tier four. We were in Division Five. I stuck a Division Five team in. I got three hundred sixty-seven points, and it came sixteenth. Not bad. One point off a tier three. I was actually sweating a Luis Diaz decisive, which he completely missed on um, a three-all draw. You know, when you struck, when you got an attacker playing in a three-all draw, you're hoping for at least one decisive, which would have pushed me up nicely. I think into a tier two, but didn't happen. Um, Bernardo Silva leading the way in a Man City route of Fulham. It was pretty nice. Everyone else with pretty standard score, but 3-6-7 in Division 5 is good enough for a Tier 4. We had the return of Legends. We've all spent an absolute... Well, me and you have spent an absolute bundle on Legends um, to basically have them be useless now, presuming we won't be able to use them until the next European season. So this is probably mm -hmm. the swan song for a while. My Legends pro team came 20th. Solid effort. Um, new signing Alfredo De Stefano in a much changed Real Madrid lineup, getting a double. Uh, Lucas Fernandez, who has let us down this morning by being on the bench, did get an assist at the weekend and a clean sheet from my other non legend goalie, uh, non legend player there. 10 points off a tier two, but we'll take 20th place for a tier three in Legends. That should be nice. And we followed it up with a Legends limited uh, cash as well as 405 points got us 43rd and a tier three again only 0.3 off a tier two so at the top of the pool again Dries Mertens who's probably in the top three best players on so rare insane. absolutely insane at the moment you know alongside he's up there with Messi in terms of his scoring uh double decisive a triple for Van Basten up front our non-legend player letting us down in goal there with only a 37 in the two all draw stopping it being legendary but yeah, we'll take that. Tier three will be nice and hopefully has a chance of being worth more than £1.20. Premier League in season limited. Um, we got a fiver, I think, 0.02 is, isn't it? I think that's the five pound reward. The Everton Arsenal combo. Obviously, Everton probably slightly disappointed in a 1 0 win at Sheffield United. Had some chances, I think, first half, didn't you? But yeah, uh, Pickford last man tackle. And a clean sheet, doing the business in goal. Tarkovsky is obviously a defensive goat. Uh, McNeil, it was meant to be McNeil's season, but he's let us all down slightly. A little bit. Um, maybe Trossard was my new signing for the weekend because I just really fancied Arsenal against Man United, sadly. He did all right. Saka let the team down. His casual limping as usual. You know, can always rely on Saka to end a match day limping about. <laughs> but 112 place, 394 points for a fiver. And then one sob story. You've got to stick in a sob story, haven't you? Uh, mine is Champion Classic Season Limited Division 2. I scored 400 points with four players, and Bruno didn't make it back. I He was on the play sharper, the lineup. He played him, wasn't he? Full training? Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that lineup builder said he was going to play. I've seen some things on Twitter saying he was going to play, and he didn't. I'm not sure how well he would have scored in a 1 0 defeat to Arsenal. Maybe he would have made a bit of a difference. But, you know, maybe at best a 50 or a 60, which would have been into the tier threes, maybe a tier two. So he probably wasn't going to get 100 and put me into the podium. But still, that's real sad times when you get yeah. over 400 with a DMP that probably could have been avoided. Um, but let's have a look at what we win for this. The spinny wheel of sex. <laughs> a few boxes as well. You never know. Few boxes open the coins to fluff you all up 
Is it 58, 58 out of 58 for you on boxes? 58 of 58 we are on boxes so far. £3.98 into the coffers. We have three cards to open. We're going to go for the Premier League season, uh, classic season, 16th place, tier four. Let's go. Bring me some good luck. It's going to be a toffee. You can feel it coming now. Oh, a goalie from Bournemouth. Neto. Neto. It's a tier four. Tier four. He doesn't play, though, does he, at the moment? Well, isn't it just because he's injured? Uh, no, he got dropped for Travers, I believe. Oh, wow. He got dropped. Because I, I have Neto's there. rare. So this is an ideal um, pickup. But you never know if he moves or regains starting place. That might be all right. Mm. Yeah. I mean, could have been better. We missed three other rewards by less than two points this mm. game week, which is well, kind of like friends. a harsh one. Yeah. Really close. What else happened? My New England Super Air's got bent over as well. Um, and I got a proper like medical case of random DMPs like everywhere. I know you did tell me about Johan Barbe, and I literally forgot what you said and put him in a team that would have won a prize. Idiot. I even had a goalie that didn't play due to a supporter protest, keeping the opposition on the bus. Uh, over in Belgium, which is that cost me the threshold. That was frankly annoying. A supporter protest um, costing me one. So, yeah, we did have some more sob stories. I've just remembered, you know, everyone loves a good sob story. Let's go for a tier three in Legends. This is for 43rd, 405 points. <clears throat> Come on, up the Legends. Up the Legends. Neto Roberto again. Carlos. Rubinho. Oh, it's lagging out. Ronaldo. Oh my God. Neymar. Oh, Thiago Orobo. No idea who he is. Let's have a little, a little quick look. Um, Never heard of him. New season cards are going for a zero point zero zero one seven. So what's that? About three pound, three pound fifty, roughly. Um, has a fair amount of green scores. Um, has joined John Book this season from Dejon Citizen, by the looks of it. Seems to have been a key man for Dejon uh, Citizen, but hasn't started the season well for John Book. That's my analysis of him. Thanks for the analysis. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's um, maybe slightly underwhelming for a tier three there. A little bit, yeah. I think when you haven't ever heard of them, it's quite bad. Yeah, agreed. All right, tier three for 20th place. Let's have a look. You'd like to think they've put some decent cards in this uh, Legends prize pool, right? Fingers crossed. Come on, baby. Is that three Brazilians you've won? That's, uh, that's interesting. Oh, my God. Same again. Oh, Pohang. Jorge Luiz. Again, not sure. A lot of a lot of Kaylee players getting given out for uh, for the um, Kaylee special thing they're doing. He's not even on um, Sarah Day, right? Jorge, interesting. Doesn't exist. Oh, he doesn't exist. That's a good start. Literally doesn't exist on Sarah Day. Is he a new, a very new card? No, this is number 37. Yeah, but maybe sometimes they give out older older serial number card. I don't know. You might have to look that one up yourself, mate. I can't see him on there. Okay, Jorge. Let's see if I can find him. Jorge. Um... No, I didn't see him. I... I just presume he's worth loads. Oh, hang on. He's called Jorge Texaria on So Rare. Ah. Um, he is worth... Well, the cheapest on sale is £35 um, for his rare. Let's see what he's actually been auctioning for. Oh, that's one as a reward. Um, yeah, I don't think he's worth a lot, mate. Around £30 to £40, probably. I mean, that's all right. Last auction was 18 hours ago for £21.50. Mm, okay, mm. I mean, he's probably getting sold because I don't use the KD cards, but we'll see. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Now on to the main event, box openings, um, time to hit and hope, much like we're playing for Everton. Um, we are looking to end the most shocking, the most shocking end to a streak since Brock Lesnar pinned The Undertaker. Uh, we are 58 <laughs> for 58. 
Let's see what we can do. Three premium, three basic. I'm going to start cracking them. Come on. You're due. You're definitely due. Oof. Okay. 59. First one in the doors. Second 60. one in the doors. 60 is up. We're on to the 60. We're into the 60s. 61 oh. for 61. God, this is going very quick as well. Top work on the internet there. Yeah, you know, it didn't like the, it didn't like want to slow mark roll me on the cards, but on the boxes, mm. it's happy to speed through my disappointment. No more fucking around. The cruel mistress. Oh my god! Puts me at sixty four, sixty four. I haven't been this disappointed by a box since I saw Katie Price's OnlyFans. Um, <laughs> yeah, fucking hell, sixty four. For that's, 64. That's bad, man. Stop sharing, Rick. I've had enough. <sighs> well, there we Talk go. About your game week. Um, no. Nice. Don't worry. I'll, I'll win an Mbappe for us. We can share it. Um, okay. I had one of those weeks where I had so many good scores. It was unreal. Obviously, uh, buoyed by the Everson stacks coming in okay with a 1-0 home win uh, against Sheffield United. Um, fortunately, McNeil, I captained in all my teams. Very strong AA once again from Dwight, but just missing that key decisive, which would have thrown me up about 20 places in each of my Everson stacks, which would have been great. Um, yeah, I picked up a Tier 2 rare, which is in Premier League, so should hopefully be a pretty decent card there. A Tier 4 rare... Oh, I seem to have been stat corrected out of another tier five. So I definitely had two tier fives. And I seem to be stat corrected down to tier five limited from a tier four. So that's kind of annoying. But um, yeah, four cards to open, a little bit of ETH. Let's just have a look at some of my teams here. Um, here is my Everson stack that I decided to put in the classic, uh, classic one rather than putting the new season one together with Decore and somebody else. Paid off pretty well, I think. Um, managed to get, I think that's final place um, in the tier two. So, you know, I'm not expecting not expecting humongous things, but yeah, hopefully something good. Much like your wife then. Yeah, exactly that. Um, <laughs> mate, you're on it today with the dad jokes. You've got it, you've got it going. <laughs> um, bit of ETH there from that Everson stack. Bit of ETH there from that Everson stack. Legends Pro, I... Wow, okay. I thought I won a prize and I've clearly been stat corrected down. Damn it. So I was 40 41st, I think, in that. So I've been stat corrected down to 54. So I don't get a card. So that's great. Um, this is a team that was very close to doing incredibly well. Uh, Kim Yong won, scored, but gave away a penalty. Um, so that killed any chances of getting a 400 plus score there. Um, another Everson stat there doing pretty well, picking up a tier five at the very top of the pool. Um, this is one which I talked about at great length on WhatsApp. The first three players to play were Romalo, Arznes and Rafa Silva. So I was on 310 from two players, I think it was, something around that, with old OGs, Crep and Castro Montes left to play. Um, God knows how many times those two have let me down in the last uh, year or so. And unfortunately, let me down again. Castro Montes getting the lowest score out of all 30 players that played that football match. Um, completely killed me. Crep, thankfully, didn't concede three. But, um, yeah, I was hoping for a, a strong 420-plus score there and just fell short, unfortunately, at 384, but still picked up a tier five. I mean, it's a joke. Castro Montez lets us down more times than the Conservative government. Um, he, I think I've got, to, I've got to stop trusting him. Yeah, he's useless. I did watch the crap game. I watched uh, I watched it on um, Apple TV. Mm. Seen him in the flesh. Phil yeah. Neville in his suit, even though it's absolutely baking hot, you know. Standard. Man's dedicated to looking smart. Standard Phil Neville right there. Um, yeah, this team did pretty well as well. Obviously... Munier or Buang, I could have put in here instead of Castro Montes because they're the same division. So a little bit annoying, but all lifts and bats at the end of the day. Um, this did pretty well. Um, this one was on three, uh, 250 or something with Gori and Dior left to play, and they both studied. So unfortunately, I didn't go well. 383. Yeah, just, just a lot of really good scores. Oh, I kept this one in because um, my first two players to play in Legends after not having Legends for a few months. Decided to 
not play in terms of the keeper and if Kabal was on the bench for some reason. So after all that waiting for Legends to come back, they completely dudded. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's mainly it, I think. So um, 22 rewards, which is four cards, two ETHs, and I believe 15 or 16 boxes. So I'm hoping, wow, look at that. Just call me Pranksy. Wanksy. That's a lot of boxes there. Right. Let's get cracking with these. Let's start with a tier five Premier League. Okay. Goalkeeper, that's Dubravka, is it? Oh, no. Ah, uh, Matt Rodak. He might be leaving at the end of this this uh, transfer, uh, in the summer transfer window. I own his, I own a limited of his already. He's right. the second choice keeper for the Euros, I guess, as well, though, isn't he? Yeah, he is second choice. Um, not horrific. If he moves in the, in the summer, that might not be too bad. Yeah, um, it's worth about two pound fifty, but that's all right. I'll probably sell him. Um, tier five rare. Kind of Afonso Davis. Afonso Davis. Oh, Kamal Miller. I think he does. He not start for Canada. I think he does, doesn't he? Uh, I think he's a Canadian international. Yeah. Mm. Um, that's my first is. first new season MLS card. I think. Yeah, it looks about. 14 pounds 16 17 pounds maybe that's pretty good draw price at the moment so that's quite good for a tier five yeah 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 it looks decent enough plays every game but obviously portland aren't doing very well defensively yeah. at the moment so okay tier four argentinian midfielder harassing santiago sosa i used to own his cut is rare when he played for atlanta santiago sosa Racing. Um, he is zero zero five. So what, thirteen ish pounds? Well, probably just under that now, isn't it? He's dropped a bit. Fourteen ish pounds. He was really good about two and a half years ago when he was the the CDM for Atlanta in, in the MLS. Been playing um, very middle of the uh, middle of the table. Fifty scores. Okay. Half decent AA. Been playing centre back a lot. Could could be good for um, Cap Two Forty Rare as a as a banker of fifty every week. Okay, um, right. This is the big one now. Tier Two Rare in Premier League. Come on, someone worth loads of money so I can sell it and afford the rest of my life. Omri, uh, Frank Leboeuf. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Um, I feel like that's pretty good for a Tier Two Rare. I feel like that's pretty good. Obviously. The problem with all these new season cards, they're about to be classic season. Mm. Um, let me show you. So, yeah, 71 L5. It's pretty nice. It's probably starting for France, right? Surely in the Euros. Yeah. Which is a nice hit. £103 was his last auction. Okay. 12, so three days ago. Um, floor price is obviously slightly higher than that at the moment last sale yeah 0 0.0442 playing everton at home so a nice banker score <laughs> for the weekend 100 in his last game against united 93 the game before that everton up next if you don't sell him surely slots in well at the weekend i will be selling that bad boy i feel like i've got pretty lucky there with the with the bottom tier two rare of the of the pool there another year of u23 eligibility yeah i think that's a really really good price i'd be very happy with yeah Saliba. i'm gonna be oh, that will be going directly towards um spain versus croatia euros tickets courtesy of william saliba um very very happy with that and all from an everton sack so up the bloody everton boys um okay there we go. Reveal the rest. I've got a bit of ETH, a bit of coins, um, and shit loads of boxes. So let's go and open these, shall we? See if I get a um, an Mbappe. Yes. We, we definitely do a, uh, an Mbappe. We've been talking about it enough. And I'm sure my AOL dialect will cope with this really well. Well, it, it, sh it handled the prize openings a lot better than mine, but then mine peaked on the boxes. Yeah. So, you know... Maybe it's because we're doing this in the daytime rather than the nighttime. Maybe, uh, maybe it works better in the day, eh? Yeah. Well, if it was dark outside, it worked better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this already isn't working, so that's great. As always, folks. Yeah. Here we go. Here comes a solid seven minutes of us. I'm just buzzing. I want to win him Saliba. That's uh, a great pull. 
That's an insane pull. It was a top 10 finish, to be fair, so you, you probably should have expected a decent card. Yeah. Just probably I maybe the best defender in the Premier League right now, I'd say. I don't know if his scores necessarily represent how good he is because he is very good. But, right, let's get cracking with these. Yeah, start clicking them. Tier, two, tier one. Oh, it's usually... I mean, I always feel like there's less jeopardy with yours. You've already won, like, five cards out of boxes. It's an absolute joke. Favouritism. Four, actually. But, yeah, a lot more than zero. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. I haven't won a rare one yet. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. <laughs> oh, it's so slow. Why does this freak out so badly every time? Are we running Everton stacks this weekend against Arsenal away? You still I playing? I'll, I'm always running Everton stacks, so I will. I will be running Everton stacks in the vague hope that we might win or do something. But um, yeah, I think we've got the longest record in history of Everton Football Club of bad results away at Arsenal. I think we last time we beat them, they played at Highbury uh, away from home. That is, and I think that was like '96, '97. Um, so yeah, I'm just thankful our existence in the Premier League doesn't rely on this match. Yeah, but it's it's yeah. like it's nice to have some sort of part in the how the Premier League's decided on the final day at least. Hmm. I saw Dwight McNeil is still an A matchup for this weekend somehow. Which it's just his AA is insane, that's why. And like if we score, he invariably is involved somehow. Not that hmm. he was the last couple of games, but come on, surely I get one card from fifteen boxes. Yeah, Jordan Pickford's also a B matchup, even though I feel like he's gonna get assaulted. By I mean, he's gonna get lots of saves, but also probably concede three. Oh, I didn't open that then. Yeah, I feel like um, I know Man City are 96% likely to beat West Ham. But everyone is sort of calling the title race over. And like all the pundits on the radio today are saying it's all done and dusted. They still, they look nervy yesterday and they've still got to beat a top 10 team. I know it's West Ham and they're at home, but it's Moisey's last game. You know, yeah. playing a bit of freedom. He likes a low block anyway. I've seen stranger things happen on last days of the season than West Ham grinding a draw at Man City. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those where like the first goal in either game is very important. Like if if Arsenal score one go one and up early and Man City is still nil-nil for a bit longer, like the pressure will start building and like it'll just be yeah, be stressful. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not running any of my West Ham players in a hurry, but even if they say Fabianski gets a farewell swan song performance, I'm not even sure I want to put him in goal anywhere, but mm -hmm. you never know. Um, so you finally found a bit of a bit of form like me. That's insane. Oh, come on. I mean, I know they're announcing that there's some changes coming in, but yeah. you is... yeah, you being disappointing in the box, uh, like Every football pitch you've ever stepped onto. Um, uh, I, don't think, I don't think you're right there, mate. <laughs> Is this the last one? Hang last on. pack magic. Hang on. We've had a little freeze on the last pack. Oh! <laughs> we, we can finally do stay to the end of the video. One of those cheesy. Make sure last you watch till the magic. end. Because the last, last fucking magic. card. Ezri Concert. Yeah. I feel wow. that's really good. I mean, it's probably not worth a, a lot, but. Fucking take that all day. Absolute joke. You've got another card. I'm fuming. Um, <laughs> God, let me... Imagine if that was Mbappe then, after all that. How have you got another card? His last auction was £32. <sighs> Ezra Concert, Champions League football next season. Uh, starts for England. Down. He played for England in the last friendlies, didn't he? He As did. Well. We have a severe dearth of left-backs available to play football so you never know he's probably going to make the squad um form is real patchy mm. but you know i have a box again johnny door last pack magic get in that's can five, you that's five cards i've won from boxes now can you believe it johnny has won five cards and a rare included i still have none from 64 boxes <laughs> What a way to end the stream. We can wow. do that cheesy thing now. I've stayed to the end. 
Wait till the end of the video. You'll be shocked what happens at the end because I was bloody shocked. <laughs> bloody hell. What time to be alive. Oh, and on that it. absolute bombshell, <laughs> we're going to love you and leave you. Best believe we'll be back soon for some more STC shenanigans. But for now, from me, Ricky, and him, Johnny, <laughs> Fever La Thursday Club. Up the toffees.